date of August 2018, Tuesday. This is a one year old. Three months. Three months. Winter Do white hamster. Dolphin, okay. Comes in with a complaint of the overgrown upper front teeth. Now, because this hamster may have some malocclusion where the teeth deviates sideways, huh? then this owner is quite knowledgeable about, about malocclusion of the teeth. And she, she had the video early on that shows that the upper front teeth, the left side, has deviated sideways uh, instead of going straight downwards. Uh. So we need to anesthetize and check and trim also. So this is a position of the gym, probably 4 and 5%. And uh, the best is the container here should be has as full as possible so that uh, the anesthetic time is much shorter. If you have such a large container with a lot of dead space, we call it dead space means actually a lot of empty space, then it will take a long time to uh, to uh, make the hamster anesthetize asleep. So the best is uh, the assistant should make sure that they put some tissue here at the side and then uh, there's not much space for the hamster to move and you can reduce the anesthetic time by half okay, I think we'll answer the phone first next time bring the phone in they uh. come not, not down yet, uh. not down yet not down yet, yeah is it down? no, not yet uh. Almost down, okay, yeah. down, pick up first and put inside here and then you take over. Take over, come. So we just focus on the teeth. Huh? Now we have a good chance to see the teeth now because the hamster is uh, not fighting me. And definitely the upper upper tooth is very long. Huh? Very long. In fact, there's some texture or something. Okay, we put it back again because. This anesthetic is too short. So all I have to do is to trim it. The owner is very uh, correct in diagnosing that there's a deviation. And uh, the hamster for the last one week cannot been able to to grab or grab the seats properly due to the deviation. And so, so now what I need to do is to just cut off the Come open up, come. Open up bigger. Yeah, there seems to be a fracture there actually. Yeah. So I will trim it. Trim, yeah, okay, then the lower part. The lower part is short enough. Okay, wait, some gas first, some gas first. Since the, the gas is very short yeah. Now sometimes mouth occlusion, it means the teeth don't uh, meet correctly so one the upper front two becomes very long since there's no wear no wear and tear now you see again open the mouth bigger this fellow is quite quite fast they got there so they try to be a bit longer the anesthetic maybe count to ten one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's facing me. Now come open up, open the mouth. Cover the tongue so that I won't. Okay, cannot, cannot. Be sure that he's quite a strong hamster. Put the gas into the nose area. So now you can see why, why we we not taking such a long time is because this container is not really uh, uh, tight it's sort of a lot of loose dead space huh? okay come okay open let me see the top T first huh? okay let go first let me just trim a bit quite short really actually the lower one 
So, so you can go home already and uh, then the tea will start growing and then in time it will just align it. At first I think the tea was like that. So it keeps on growing longer. So you can see that the upper tea is very long. Normally when, when it's uh, properly aligned, the upper tea is quite short. So they wear out when they, when they chew, when they grab the seeds. So now at the, at the, before clipping it was quite long and then it deviates sideways. So this owner is quite knowledgeable and came for trimming of the teeth. So once trim, then they should be the top teeth should be a bit forward. Scissors bite they call it. So they can wear and they won't the front teeth shouldn't be longer than deviated. Okay, finish up. Huh?